Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. The goal of last video was to upgrade the Imbued Heart to the Saturated Heart, which I got done. And here is the current collection log for Muspa. I have everything in here besides the pet. So at this point, probably the only reason why I would go back is if they add combat achievements or... Maybe if we get a second beat hard. Otherwise, I probably just won't come back until we get better gear. If I get like Ancestral and Missouri or something. Then maybe I'd come back here just for fun occasionally, like Zora, for example. I just do it for fun when I'm bored. Then we went back to Bandos last video and got like 100 KC. Unfortunately, we did not get any uniques, but we're going to be camping more Bandos this video as well. I don't exactly have a goal for this video, but we are definitely going to do Bandos today. Um, my duo teammate Spook Dog is currently just asleep, so when she wakes up, we'll start Bandos. But for now, I'm thinking maybe I'll just grab another Slayer task because we still don't have a B ring or an Archer's ring. Uh, and well, I mean, there's plenty of upgrades in general still to make from Slayer. So let's see what task we're gonna get. Okay, <laughs> I mean, it's like it's a fast task. I like seeing the Slayer points go up. I maxed at about 3k Slayer points, so let's never let go below that ever again. It's not very realistic. Nah, bro. So Spook Dog's asleep right now. And she has the prims because we were doing bandos. I had one pair of dragon boots a while ago, which I put in that one stash unit that requires them. So I got, I'm rocking the rune boots for this task. I look so goofy. I think it's fair though. If I'm using proselyte for this task, then I probably deserve to have to wear rune boots as well. Black dragons, I forgot about that slayer task. I don't even know the last time I did KBD. It looks like I have 65 KC at KBD. The D pick was not from KBD, that was from Chaos LA. Although they did recently lower the drop rate from one out of 1500 to one out of 1K from KBD. And I have nothing else on the log. I'm going to use the teleport to Gorok. Probably turn the protect item on. Here's my gear setup. And I brought 50k GP with me to open up the instance because I figure KBD is probably going to be pretty packed. And you have to actually bring the GP with you. It doesn't automatically take it from your bank. I think melee and piety for this. Uh, this is such a cool nostalgic place to be. It reminds me of being a kid. And it reminds me of also like 2015. First KBD kill and we get drop. At the very least though, I would expect we can get some KBD heads for the collection log. What was that? Claw claw? Okay, I don't know what I did, but I'll check what that is. Bro. <laughs> There's no way that just happened, dude. One out of 1k, and it was at 73 KC. There is no way, dude. There's actually no way. <laughs> that is Dragon Pickaxe number two. So now me and Spook Dog can each have our own, which will be nice for doing TOA. That combat task from before was to kill KBD with Prey Melee activated, and we're about to get another one here which is to get 10 kills in the instance without leaving. And that might be the last KBD task, actually. Once we uh, leave here, I'll check that. I'm seriously just in shock that that just happened. I just, I really was not expecting that. Uh, we'll put that in the group storage. Nice, nice. Oh yeah, let's check the task. Yep, that is all of them complete for KBD. You know when you make a Kraken in instance, the items just stay on the ground the whole time? Well, in the KBD instance, the items do not stay on the ground the whole time. They just despawn after the normal two minute timer. Yay, there's the KBD heads, new collection log slot. And maybe someday I'll save up enough Slayer points to the point where unlocking cosmetics with the points will actually be worth my while. But for now, minus one bank slot. Wait, what? <laughs> I wasn't looking at this. <laughs> no, I don't know what happened. Luckily, gravestones exist. It is not years ago when you would simply lose all of your items when you died in an instance. Oh, 105 attack. So much stuff going on at KBD today. And there's the end of the Black Dragon task. Technically, all I have to get is the pet and then I could leave KBD forever because there's plenty other places to get the visage from. 175 Abyssal Demons. We are going back to Sire. Well, whenever me and Spook are doing banned for the next couple days I'll do Sire. But we are in fact just about to go back to Bandos, so we'll see you there. As we're getting KC here, I'll just remind you of the collection log for Bandos. This is what we got so far, and Spook has one task, it's as well. I'm on the wrong spell book, but I, I, have the, I have the max cape so I can switch with it. I love this <laughs> thing. Okay, that's a lifesaver. Yeah, guards return threes. We only have one of. I guess really all we would need would be two blades, since I don't think we'd ever each need more than one godsword at a time. Actually, what I can do 
is just like spam click under him like you do. And that way he'll just switch aggro onto you. I don't know why I didn't think to do that before instead of like running around the room. Now he's on you. Easy. It's been a while since we've seen anything. A single god sword shard. It's been like 150 kills. Wait, I just realized the kebabs in the game, you know how they could either do nothing or heal you or like damage your stats. I just realized that it's it's like real life. If you go to a kebab shop for the first time, you never know what you're going to get. Wow, this game is so realistic. Well, except for the fact that monkfish and anglerfish are in the game. A 53 kill trip, and as always, it's the divines that make us have to leave. Don't die. Eat. <laughs> oh my god. Unlucky. After doing KBD earlier, it made me realize how come I've never fished infernal eels before because you get lava scale shards and then you use the lava scale shards to make extended anti-fire potions. So that's where my mind wandered when I was thinking about that. So I'm going to fish lava eels for the first... Wait, did I say lava eels? Infernal eels. Infernal eels for the first time on the account. You know they're infernal because it is next to the inferno at BLP. I'm going to be doing it like really AFK though, but maybe after an hour or a couple hours. Wait, it's been so long. I thought it was on the east side. Yeah, isn't that the spot over there? Uh, maybe after an hour or a few hours or whenever I remember the show, uh, we'll see how much XP and stuff that I get. Because you do get more than just the lava scale shards, you get uh, tackle and other stuff too. Like with a lot of other things in the game, you can choose to just AFK and let it slowly go. I guess tackle's the main thing that you get, and then you occasionally get lava scale shards or onyx bolt tips. Or you could make it go a little bit faster if you spam click. And don't forget your rod is blessing. As you can see in the chat box, it does work here. You do still have the chance to get the extra fish. We're getting close to an hour here. So we could say like 30 to 35K fishing XP per hour. I gained about a hundred lava scale shards and each shard is the equivalent of one dose of extended anti-fire. So that's not as many as I thought it would be. Uh, that'd be like 25 four dose potions for one whole hour of fishing. And with the onyx bolt tips, I would attach these to runite bolts, enchant them, and then you alk them for 9k each. And I have pretty much an unlimited supply of runite bolts because you get so many from demonic, so I just have thousands and thousands. And if in one hour I get 15 of them, then I don't think I'm going to run out of runite bolts anytime soon. So that's an extra like 130, 140k and just straight up GP, assuming that's what I do with these eventually. Per hour of fishing. And Onyx is 260k tackle, and if you get 5,000 per hour, that means it's only 52 hours of fishing Infernal Eels to be able to buy an Onyx, which doesn't really matter for me or for us because I have so many Onyxes from Zora. I got the casket. Ooh, oh, Bando wow. Spacers. And we're going to Bandos. It must be a sign. Yeah. They just made an update where you can now sell your items back to Giant's Foundry and you get 80%. Of the points back and i saw i have this smithing catalyst in the bank so i can just sell that bag it probably wasn't even worth the time coming back here for that but there's 12 extra points <laughs> freed up a bank slot you know before i said i have thousands of rune bolts in the bank i just want to double check and see exactly how many i have it's twenty-eight thousand. i have a really good feeling about tonight yeah because if i say it's a good feeling every time eventually i'll be right and i really feel like i'm gonna get the pet tonight so I'm, I'm glad you suggested no. this. We don't have to go to Panda. I mean, we're already almost here, so. <gasps> Thank you, game. <laughs> Finally. Didn't even have to tweet Ash to get the drop. <laughs> yeah. It was coming well, soon, though. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. Good job to you, too. Good job, team. Let's Thanks. go. <laughs> Here, I'll trade that to you if you want to toss it on. Oh, yeah. You look like yeah. not so much like Iron Man anymore. Stop ranging. No. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> well, we were about to go to bed anyways, so. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. We got the drop we were looking for. One of them. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking sick. Tacits and BCP. It's one out of 381 for the BCP. And I have 340 KC and you're what, like 80 something KC? So 
That's about the drop rate for one, well, for BCP specifically. No more torso jokes anymore. We have the BCP. It's looking good. We're all set to go for Sire. Before we head on though, I just want to show you the stats on screen to compare what the torso stats are compared to the BCP. The BCP is the same, if not better, in every stat except for range accuracy but you probably wouldn't be ranging anyways with a torso or BCP. It has less negative magic accuracy, which will be really useful for doing Vorkath because when you're at negative 65 magic accuracy, you'd have to bring an extra switch or sacrifice some piece of melee gear. But with the BCP, that shouldn't be an issue anymore. We can also compare it to a tank body, for example, Derox body. The Derox plate body does have more melee defense, but it is technically less range defense. And more importantly though, BCP has the strength bonus and the pure bonus. Let's get into Sire though. We got the Slayer task the other day. Currently 136 KC, two Unsires. They're one out of 100. I got the first bludgeon piece in the jar so far. Let's go get an Unsired. Uh, wait, I thought you can't get damaged after the... Huh. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> Unsired already. Just a few kills into the task. Wow. Okay. Unironically, 50 50 chance to get a bludgeon piece. Yes, bludgeon piece number two. Oh my god. Dude, any kill we could be done with the bludgeon. But I'd still have to kill Sire to get the log done eventually. Yeah. Oh, it's still alive. Wait. <laughs> no, I'm dead. No. <laughs> I Wait. No, it's. Okay. Wait. Okay. Bro, I swear it was dead. How'd that happen? We got the balls. That's what matters. Minus 250k. Yeah, unlucky. I got too cocky. I thought the boss was dead when it wasn't, so I was just standing there taking damage. I say unlucky, but it's actually a skill issue. See, I'm making my GP back already. We got an elite casket from Sire. No way, they're in crossbow. Two, three, four. As UIM Loki would say, we now have a KC that is a sequential order of numbers. So that's pretty cool. Here's a perfect example of killing Sire and thinking you got unsired, but really it's just one of the spawns hasn't finished their death animation. Here's my last kill before bed tonight. I just spent the rest of the day killing Sire. Wow, what a great drop. Uh, and I want to show my XP per hour that I got today. It was a bit over 11k, so this is like 17 kills per hour, and this is pretty inefficient because it was while I was streaming, and I ended up doing over 130 KC today. But I'm gonna go do my birdhouse run, go to bed, and finish up the task in the morning. Oh my, another Unsired. <laughs> oh wow, number four in 282. There's about a 50-50 chance that I finished the bludgeon right here. Okay, let's see what we get. That's it. The bludgeon's done. Wow. Wow, dude. Completed at 282 KC. To complete the Abyssal Bludgeon, the mean number of Sire kills is 619.4 and the median number is 552. So I got pretty lucky with this. Let's trade these into the Overseer, hand them in, and we have the bludgeon and I believe the Overseer will leave forever. Farewell, my friend. Looks so empty here now. All right, Abyssal Bludgeon, let's put on the melee gear. Wow. So this is good for crushing stuff with. So Seracnus, Tecton, Venonatus. I would say Calphite Queen, but now there's the Karis that exists, so that's probably a bit better than the Bludgeon, I would guess. But yeah, you can see the massive crush bonus. It is two-handed, so you can't equip a defender with it, but it's pretty strong just by itself and it has a four tick attack speed too. I'm looking at the wiki. It's also good for Nightmare, Revenants, Demonic Gorillas, Cerberus. It's not necessarily best in slot anywhere, but as an Iron Man, when you have limited options, it could be the best choice based on what gear you might have at the time. Anyways, I'm going to finish up this layer task before wrapping up the video. Still have 29 more to go. Oh yeah, what's the value of the bludgeon? Oh, it's 10 mil. I thought it was like 30 mil. Maybe it was, I just haven't played a main account for that long. There is no way. <laughs> Number five, 288. I guess at this point we're hoping for, uh, I mean, I want to get the pet, but if I got the pet, I would be so unmotivated to go for the dagger. So I kind of hoping for the dagger more than the pet. Let's see what we get. Okay, as expected. 
starting the second bludgeon, except this time I don't have anyone to turn it into, so this actually has to stay in the bank. And here's my final Sire kill of the Slayer task. We're wrapping this up at 311 KC. We can take a look at the collection log, 311 KC, and it's looking pretty filled out. And in case you forgot from before, uh, last time I went to Sire, I did complete all the combat tasks. Pretty good success this video though, if I do say so myself. We got the D pick, we got BCP, we finished the bludgeon and started working on the next one. And next video, I don't know, might do some bandos, or I was also thinking of raids. Maybe we could do some TOA, go for a second fang. Maybe I'll try doing some more solo chambers. I don't know. We'll see what the future has to hold. But with that said, make sure to check out my Duo Teammate Spook Dogs channel, linked below in every video description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time.